You don't need to be sick. You don't need to be broken. You don't need to have a disaster happen in your life. If you want to get better, if you want to reach a, a point of elite in performance in your life, you just need awareness. Hey, what's going on? It's Cletus Coffee, the founder of Recovering Athlete Coaching and Training. I'm so glad you're here. But let me ask you, do you have a desire to make a change for the better in your life? Maybe you're looking to make more money, you're looking for a new job, maybe you're looking for a new partnership, maybe you wanna get healthier, get back on track, back when you were an athlete. I get it, I have been there on, on all of those levels. And change is interesting because so much of change can happen in an instant if we just let it happen. Oftentimes, however, we're waiting for something to happen. We're waiting for the bottom to fall out. We're waiting for something to be broken so we can fix it. But you know, you, you don't have to be sick in order to get healthy. Like you don't have to be broken in order to make a change. You don't have to be broke in order to make money. It, it's not as if we're, we're coming in and you have to have some sort of catastrophic moment in your life that shifts you. And now you're like, okay, now I know where, what my purpose is. Now, here's how the, the meaning of my life. Now, I get it. Many people have had those, and I'm one of them. It really just stems from my career as a, as a former athlete, from the time that I retired from sports for a good decade plus afterwards, wondering and stumbling and trying to figure out like, who am I now, if not this thing anymore? Are you with me here? Have you struggled through that? Have you struggled through any type of identity crisis? I know I did. I was this thing ever since I was knee high and 80% of my life I was dedicated to this thing, being an athlete. And I had completely and 100% hook, line and sinker believed that I was an athlete. Matters, the, the, the matter of fact is, uh, being an athlete is what we did. It's not who we are. You're not an athlete, I'm not an athlete, it's what we did. But we attach who we are to that. And you can look it up in other videos when it, what happens when we attach our self-worth and who we are to our results as an athlete, it causes a lot of challenge and problems. However, getting back to making change, we don't have to have that catastrophic event happen. And or uh, when it does happen, we don't have to be a victim of it. So if, you're, if you, like many of my clients in my program, are going, hey, Cletus, I've got a good job, have a, you know, have a family, have a nice house, uh, so all that is, is working, yet I walk in the door every day feeling utterly unfulfilled in my life. I just want to get back on the field where I, where I feel like myself again or get back to racing or competing. And, and a lot of my clients are like really not trying to get back there, but there's, it's that feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like that feeling of fulfillment and joy where it's just, it was effortless, it was easy, it was fulfilling. So... You may have that experience right now. You're like, I just need, this isn't where I'm to be. I'm taking care of things, or maybe you're not taking care of things, your responsibilities, and that's okay too. It doesn't matter where you're at. But I just want to encourage you that it's not about having to be broken in order to fix it, in order to get healthy. Start where you're at. And the number one key to doing, it's not having this catastrophic event, it's awareness. See, those catastrophic events that happens, when people get sick, they become more aware, or you know, they are broken, broken, and they're aware, like, okay, hey, that's not the path I need to go on. They seek help, they get on the right track. Maybe it's substance abuse, or, or, or uh, you know, maybe they're, they're internally just um, you know, depressed, anxiety, stress, those type of things. They seek help, and they're able to get on the right track. We don't have to have all of those things. I remember growing up as a, as a young man, looking at different communities and going, guys, I want to be a part of that community, not realizing that the bond in that community was their, their, their bottom, right? Hitting rock bottom or, or their catastrophic event is what bonded them together. And I, I wanted to be part of that community, but I didn't want to have to go through the path that, that got them there. So rest assured that, you know, again, I'm really beating the dead horse here. It doesn't have to be a catastrophic event or you don't have to, get, to be sick in order to get healthy. What you need is awareness to become aware of the inner purpose. 
What are you here to do and to create an experience in this world? The outer stuff will take care of itself. We can't control that. What you can control is what's going on in the inner. Being present, becoming self-aware. Who are you? Where do you fit into this world? What are you capable of? What do you want to do? What do other people say about you? If you need help in this process, you can go to cletuscoffee.com forward slash playbook. That'll download. It's actually the first pillar of my four pillar process to help you sort out just exactly this. Get clarity on who you are on that inner purpose. What are you here to do? Because if we have that down, right now we've got a strong foundation. Now we can go out and try different things. Some are going to work out, some are not. Be prepared. They will all not work out. But when they don't work out, a new door opens up. And maybe that next one doesn't work out. A new door opens up. Keep walking through those doors. The first step is awareness. Getting that inner purpose down. What are you here to do? And it's not, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm here to live on a beach and you know, be of service to all these people in my business. And Those things are great. But I need you to go inward first. What is, what is your, your inner purpose here on this earth? What is it you want to create? And King, don't get all hung up on this. Like it's got to be this old, you know, worldly, divine creation of some sort. It, it doesn't have to be that way. Let's try something on now. Let's go, let's go apply it and see how it works. We act, we analyze, we adjust. So start working on what works, what, that inner purpose, that awareness, being aware of what, what sensations do you get when in a certain uh, scenario? You know, for me, I'll give you a quick, quick story. When I got into sales, it was natural. Oh, you're an athlete. You should go into sales. You're, you'll be great in sales. I didn't like sales and I wasn't very good in sales. And I would get different sensations, nervousness, not nervous like getting ready for a game, but like something is just off here. It just doesn't feel right. I, although I ended up developing a, a good sales platform and, and, and strategy and, and all that, and obviously reading and learning helped me develop that. But ultimately, it just didn't, just didn't feel right. So I, once I listened to those sensations, I was able to take a step back, analyze and go, that's not where I want to be. That's not what's truly best for me. And or the product or services that I'm selling aren't in alignment with me. That's the awareness piece. So take some time, do the inner work, getting some inner awareness. That's going to help affect your outer purpose as well. If you like this video, if you want some more contact gang, please subscribe to the channel here. Leave a comment. What'd you think? What nuggets you take from it? What are your thoughts? What is your purpose? I'd love to hear it. Let's all make an impact in life far greater than we did in sports together.